The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. this project is focusing on is the management of construction and demolition waste uh, nationally and the capacity and the opportunity to address economic barriers and drivers to national harmonisation to help the industry. We have reviewed uh, regulations in each jurisdiction to identify if there are any discrepancies and inconsistencies among them, especially when it comes to defining what is a waste and what is a resource. The organisations operating in different jurisdictions identified this as the barrier to their productivity and work. So a key highlight of this work is the case studies that we have done for five materials which are concrete, timber, glass, steel and bricks. From the virgin extraction to the manufacturing and production to design and construction to demolition and back to the circulation that where are those opportunities to actually reduce and minimize the construction and demolition, demolition waste. If you talk about construction and demolition waste in particular, uh, I think about 45% of this waste is going to landfill, which is not ideal. And good news is 55% of it is being recycled and reprocessed. So there's huge opportunity for uh, Australia, you know, nationwide, to utilize this waste in infrastructure sector. Main Roads is participating at a state level um, as part of the, the Waste Strategy 2030 and dealing with waste management of construction and demolition waste. We are participating in the Roads to Reuse pilot trial which is developing a product specification as well as uh, accompanying independent order testing regime for the use of crushed recycled concrete. Through that trial we're using 25,000 tonnes of uh, crushed recycled concrete on various major projects around Perth with the intent of developing an ongoing market for the use of construction demolition waste in Western Australia. This research has been very important in particular of what's going on nationally in this space. There is a need for harmonisation and standardisation of practices in this, in, for waste management and this project is helping to expedite this. So Griffith University has a part to play in this exciting project from SBE NRC on construction and demolition waste. So we've been looking to try and examine the feasibility of a, a marketplace system. Imagine uh, what a real marketplace looks like. You've got a lot of traders, a lot of people going, uh, looking for bargains, looking to buy something. That kind of situation is what we're looking for here for construction and demolition waste. It would be a virtual marketplace. And we've looked at case studies from Brazilian cities to Beirut, to Hong Kong, to New Zealand. So different examples out there. So there's some really interesting online platforms that could be used in this scenario. As a professional services firm that provides uh, services in the buildings market, we're increasingly seeing uh, more and more uh, requests, but also concerns from our clients around waste and how we manage uh, waste during the design process but also during the construction and decommissioning stages and it's a, it's a central part to um, uh, growth and work for us uh, at GHD because the issues around waste are increasingly becoming more uh, challenging. The real strength of this project and what I've seen is the ability to bring together industry, government and academia together to look at how we solve um, issues and um, challenges with construction and development. It's also a great opportunity to highlight for my industry um, what is the largest waste stream in Australia and the ability to um, deal with this, not at end of pipe in the sense of once we've got it, but how we design differently. There's a real opportunity through looking at how we design buildings, what materials we select, to actually make sure that doesn't become waste or can be reused. So that's the beauty of projects like this. So we're starting to look at how you first close the loop, but ideally design to create a circular economy so it never becomes waste. And so I think the fact that this has elevated this issue and is looking at solutions across the board, government, academia and industry, is a really good thing.